Hey, Mushroom Nerds, Anna McHugh here. I am uh, looking down at a dainty little patch of a dainty little mushroom called uh, Cantharellus cinnabarinus. Uh, it is also known as uh, the cinnabar red chanterelle. Some people call them just red chanterelles. They're an edible mushroom that is closely uh, related to the golden chanterelle mushrooms. I will show you one that's actually kind of small. Reach over here. So we have uh, a number of species in North Carolina of golden and sort of, um, you know, uh, egg yolky colored chanterelles, but also these uh, little uh, beautiful red ones. So I'm going to give you identification features. Um, first of all, I do have a little patch of them. You'll often see them uh, sprout up in little groups like this. They really like, um, you know, fairly saturated areas. So I often find them, um, you know, in moss or right on the banks of little creeks, etc. This is just a really soggy spot. Uh, so, you know, my butt is not thanking me for doing this video, uh, but nonetheless, these are really nice specimens. So I want to share them with you. Um, so besides this really pleasing cinnabar red color, you have a mushroom that oftentimes at its maturity looks very flowery. Um, like other mushrooms in the Cantharellus genus, it doesn't have true gills. These are more like forked wrinkles. Those wrinkles and forks run down the stem. In the case of uh, Cantharellus cinnabarinus, um, they're kind of deep, and so they can look sort of like gills. Um, and it's important to be mindful, there are some other mushrooms, uh, especially waxy caps, that are sort of small, brightly colored mushrooms that can be, uh, you know, misidentified as uh, this mushroom. Um, so, you know, you have these uh, forked gills running down the stem, sort of a, you know, flowery and ornate appearance. The um, flesh itself is uh, peelable. The, um, you know, it's white on the inside. You don't have a lot here either. So, you know, even though these are edible, uh, you have to collect a whole lot of them to make much of, of, of them. I usually use them decoratively because the color is very appealing, but again, it can be kind of difficult to get like a meal's worth of uh, cinnabar chanterelles. So that's really all I have to say about them. Um, you know, they grow uh, contemporaneously with our other chanterelle species in the same habitats. So you'll oftentimes find, uh, find them and, you know, they're um, really quite small. Like sometimes people will post and say, hey, I have a cinnabar chanterelle and post a picture that's about this big. And they say, how many days ought I to wait before I harvest it? And the answer is probably not very long because the mushroom probably isn't going to get much larger um, because they, again, they're very dainty, uh, you know, even at their largest. I think the biggest I've probably seen was about the size of um, a 50 cent piece, maybe a little larger than that. So uh, again, cinnabar red chanterelle is a real treat. This beautiful uh, sort of forking guild thing um, or a uh, false guild thing always gives me a chuckle. Uh, so hopefully you'll have a chance to find them and use them at least uh, decoratively in your next meal with uh, wild caught chanterelles.